declaring state of emergency now, today. We wanted to do this together to show that we are unified as communities. Odessa and Midland have stood together during some very rough times and some very prosperous times. We were together on that horrible day in August when the shooter came through West Texas. And we're gonna be here together, standing side by side, working with our communities. As you have seen through the local media, through the national media, this is a very fluid situation. Things are changing daily. Last night, we um, both got the text that said uh, Mayor Pope in Lubbock had two confirmed cases. That's what we were fearing. We were fine. We knew it was in Dallas, but Dallas is five hours away. El Paso, we knew it was another four and a half hours away, but it's getting closer. And at this time, we felt that it was the best time to go ahead and declare an emergency. What this document does, it simply gives the mayor the power through the state to do what we need to do to protect the community. In normal council times, we would pass an ordinance, have two readings, two votes, and move on. But in a time of emergency, this is the time when we need to move quickly. Um, citizens in Lubbock are scared to death. I know that we've been in conversation with all of mayors, mayors from Lubbock, Amarillo, Odessa Midland, Angelo, Abilene, just to work together as a group, uh, to bounce ideas off each other, um, and to look to move ahead. So last night, Mayor Payton and I spoke, and we decided it was time to go ahead and declare an emergency. So that's what we're here for. Um, we purposely had our declarations very close so that we won't have a lot of confusion between when somebody in Midland talks, an elected official, and somebody in Odessa talks as elected official, there won't be a lot of cross messaging. We want to make sure that it's easy for our communities to understand the needs and most importantly, the precautions we all need to take. There's a lot of common sense in there. Two, social distance, make sure you're washing your hands. If somebody in your family is ill, please stay home for 14 days. The worst thing that can happen is if a child gets sick, the mother or father go to school as a teacher, go to the work as a nurse, and start spreading this virus. This virus is three times more infective than the flu. That's what's causing this pandemic. Um, if I went to each one of you and said, there's a flu pandemic, you're all gonna look at me and go, oh, okay, no problem. But because this virus is new, we're still learning about this, we need to be careful and take the precautions we need to take.